Hi, it's Deb with Free From Food Addiction. And if you are someone who knows that your food addiction is holding you back and you know you need to do something about it and you know that you don't have the answers and that you probably need to get some help, but something keeps on preventing you from doing that and you're in resistance and you know that you need to do something, but you're in resistance, then this this video is specifically for you. And I'm gonna be sharing some really vulnerable personal things here. So I'm just, I'm asking you to show up to this conversation with an open mind and an open heart because it's super vulnerable. And, and I want you to know that I really, really get you. And this morning I got really clear on an area of my life that I am doing the exact same freaking thing. So I'm 39 years old and it has been in the back of my mind for a while now that I need to, that I need to freeze my eggs. Um, I'm not in a relationship right now and I don't want to get into my forties and then to find that I can't. And, and, and frankly, I don't even know if I can at this point. And here's what I've been noticing is that I am dragging my heels. I'm dragging my heels on making the appointment at the doctor's office. I'm dragging my heels on the whole process. And I tend to just live in this like distracted space where, you know, my life is pretty great. And, and, you know, I only really like bump up against that, like, you know, in the quieter moments of my days. And, and for, for the most part, I don't really, you know, have to think about it or really think about like the gravity of it. And like, there's this delusional part of me that thinks that if I am just not paying attention to it, that it just is going to sort of go away. Does that sound familiar? If you are struggling with your addiction with food and you're in a pattern of distraction and denial, I like, I really, I really, really get you. So what I was doing this morning was I was journaling about that. And, and, and here are some tools that I want to help you with that really helped me to access a new level of, of just hope and of motivation and courage to, to stop living in the delusion and the denial and, and, and really actually show up so that I can actually have you know, I can, I can move through this. I can start taking action and, and get to the other side, whatever the other side looks like. So, so the first thing that I really had to do today was I had to get honest. I really had to get honest. I had to get honest that, that, you know, like, like how is this way of living working for me? You know, it's it, it like my situation is it, it's not going away and it's not like every single day that I defer this that it's getting any better. So, I mean, this was a conversation that I was in maybe a couple of years ago. And, and then here I am still in the conversation and like my eggs aren't getting any younger. And, and, and so I'm like, how is this working for me? And how is it working for me living in this sort of like, everything's okay. And yet there's this like big 800 pound gorilla sitting in my living room, like, hmm, well, there's this, there's this situation here. And, and, you know, one of the things that I had to do as part of getting honest was I, I really had to get into the feelings that were coming up. So the moment I just gave myself the opportunity to get honest, here's what just hit me right away. Anger, anger. I was like, this isn't fair. It's not fair that, you know, because I am not in a relationship right now, because I am, have been focusing on my mission and purpose for, for the last decade, because, because I've made these life choices. Now I feel like I'm being penalized. Now I feel like I've got to now go and, 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 you know, let me just tell you to get your eggs frozen. It costs about 10 to $12,000 to do plus $800 a year, um, like to, I don't know, keep them in storage or something. So it's not a cheap thing to do. And, and, and so I was like, I was angry. I was angry. Like it's not fair, you know? And, and now I'm being punished because I'm in this life situation and it's just not fair. 
and so like i had a lot of anger coming up and and you know you better believe that that's going to be keeping me blocked from taking any action because i'm like i shouldn't have to do this so that was the one piece and then i got really clear to the fears that were underneath that so for me it was like oh my gosh like what if it doesn't work like it it it, it hurts let me just tell you when you when you're going to get fertility treatments before they actually go and they harvest the eggs you have to um you have to stick a needle in your belly to like like daily, I think multiple times throughout the day to inject this medicine straight into your body. So it's like, talk about painful, talk about discomfort. I mean, you're literally putting a needle in your belly. And so you better believe that like, I, like, I don't want to get hurt and I don't want to be uncomfortable. That does not sound fun to me. And I don't like how I am on hormones and all that stuff, like being on the birth control pills, like that never worked for me and I got to get bloated and like, I'm like, I don't freaking want all of that. So, you know, <laughs> it's, there's this real like fear of like, of discomfort and pain and bloating and cramping and things like that. And then there's the fear underneath it of like, oh, there's no guarantee. Like, what if this doesn't work? And so I had to get really real and honest with the fears that were going on underneath all of that anger and rage, you know, and this is really, this is the stuff that is so important for us to take a look at because part of me getting honest is like, (laughs) this isn't going away. It's not getting any better. Every single day I'm doing this is actually my chances are getting slimmer and you know, my fear of, well, what if it doesn't work? Well, if I don't do anything about it, guess what? I know it's not going to (laughs) work. You know, if I don't get any help, if I don't do something, if I don't start doing these treatments and actually take positive action, I, I don't even know if I'm fertile. I don't even know. So, so, so how is that going to work? You know, entering into a new relationship, and saying, well, I want kids. Well, I don't even know if I can have kids. Well, I'm not really sure my situation. It's like, you know, there are some ways that I really, really need to be willing and courageous to get honest with myself, you know, and really have a look to see what's there and, 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 and really face the facts. And then ask myself those, those really just vulnerable questions of like, you know, if I do nothing, If I do nothing, then what's the cost of that? You know, what are my chances then? And, and so for me, just realizing all of that today got me so inspired because all of a sudden it just, it hit me how many women that I speak to who so deeply, deeply want to get free from the food. They want to stop holding back. They want to be more present in their lives. They want to feel more confident. They want to go on and they want to help more people, but they feel like they first need to be healthier with themselves. They need to get in alignment. They need to be congruent. They need to be able to trust themselves to make healthy choices so that from that place, they can go out into the world. They can be authentic. And, and, and I realized, I'm like, I get what is in your way. I, and not just that I get it here, but that I'm experiencing it in my own life in a different area of my life. And so I'm sharing with you in real time, what I am doing to actually move through this block, to get unstuck so that I can actually get to where I want to be, which is having the choice. I want to be able to have the choice on whether or not I want to have a child based on my choice, not on my biology, not on the lack, my lack of fertility. I want to be able to have ample choices for me. That is total freedom. So what is freedom for you? 
what is freedom for you and what is your big why? What is that going to open up for you or allow for you in your life? What do you feel like you currently don't have access to? What is that thing that is pulling you forward? It's so important to have that. And it's so important to weigh up what discomfort am I willing to really deal with? Am I willing to deal with the discomfort of this 800 pound gorilla that's sitting there, that's sitting on my shoulders, that's kind of like tapping me on the shoulder. It's like, um, yeah, so there's this thing. And the extent to which I'm not paying attention to it is the extent to which I'm creating chaos and distraction in my life. And the, and the extent to which I don't have real peace or freedom, you know, is, is that the life that I want? Or am I willing to go for the direction, to go for the path that will actually unlock the freedom, knowing that it's going to be uncomfortable? And for me, I'm willing to take that path, but here's what I need to be willing to do. I need to be willing to get honest. And I need to be willing to take a tiny action. And so for me, taking a tiny action was contacting the doctor's office and filling out the, the assessment, like I was sitting on the assessment. So filling out the assessment for me was like, okay, I'm filling out the assessment and taking that next tiny action. And then, and then it was so, so important. The third thing was so important for me to get support, to get accountable. So part of me recording this video with you today is part of me getting accountable saying, Hey, this is something that I'm committed to doing. I'm putting myself out there. I'm putting my voice out there. I'm really claiming this as something that I am ready to do. I'm ready to be seen in this so, so powerful. And so how are you getting accountability in your life? How are you getting support in your life? I want to know that I'm not alone in this. So you better believe I'm going to be reaching out to my friends and my network to really find out, Hey, who do you know? Who's also struggled with this? Where can they give me some guidance? Where can they give me some direction? What helped them? You better believe that I'm going to be doing that. So how are you doing that in your own life? And then the last piece, the last piece is that why, what is your bigger, deeper why? What is freedom for you? What is that thing for you that is going to pull you forward? What is that deeper, stronger, wiser part of you? The part that is way stronger than any fear. The part that knows that you are here for a bigger purpose to connect deeper, to have a more meaningful, impactful life. Whatever that looks like, maybe it's motherhood for you, or maybe Maybe it's, it's deeper contribution. Maybe it's helping people all over the world, whatever that thing is for you. And so to really, really access that deep why, and I'm telling you, these are the things that today are my North stars. This is what's guiding me forward. And so if you are someone who is sick and tired of being stuck, of knowing that you want this and of being afraid to take action, here is, these are the breadcrumbs that I am following. And I encourage you to follow those breadcrumbs as well. And you know, if there's any way that I can support you on your path, I am absolutely here. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. Thank you for getting vulnerable with me and just holding this space with me. And, and, and I, and I hope I get the opportunity to hold space for you. I'll connect with you next time. Bye for now.